Tutorials Chapter Exercise 2 Questions Number 1 Apply the force against a time graph of an object is given. So if you refer to the graph given, okay, they ask us to find the impulse okay, of the object. Okay, so we know that impulse is area under graph. Huh? If you refer here, this is area under graph and this is the trapezium shape. Okay, so our impulse equals to area under the graph. Okay, under the graph. And we know that this is a trapezium. So what is the formula for trapezium? Yes, that is equal to half A plus B times the height. Okay, so this is our A, this is B, and this is the height H. Okay, so we just substitute all the value inside. Half A is 6 uh, minus 2, so it's 4. Your B is 10, H height is 20. Okay, so you will get answer 100. And 40. What is the unit? Yes, that is kilogram meter per second. Okay, next we go to questions number two. An estimated force time curve. So they give you the mass M equals to 60 grams. So remember later you need to convert it into into a uh, kg yeah, because usually we use right in the unit SI. Okay, so you must convert it into kg. Okay, find the impulse delivered to the ball. Okay, so it's area under graph. And this is what shape? It's a triangle. Okay, so our impulse is equal to half A, B. Okay, so this is your A and this is your B. Okay, if this is a triangle shape. Okay, so our A is equal to 1.8 okay milli okay Re look at here milli so milli we need to change it into si unit so it's in seconds so we times 10 to the power of negative 3 and b is 18 kilo newton okay so we write 18 kilo is 10 to the power of positive 3 okay so finally uh, negative 3 positive 3 actually can cancel cancel each other so you will get 14.4 newton second okay or if you don't want to write newton second you can also write kilogram meter per second okay 2b the speed of the ball after being struck assuming the ball is being served so it is nearly at rest initially meaning that u equals to zero Okay, so we want to find what is the value for V. Okay, so just now we already uh, found our impulse and impulse equals to FT also equals to change our momentum or we can write as MV minus MU. Okay, so we know that impulse just now is 14.4 Newton second and uh, mass Okay, is 60 grams. So remember, 60 gram you must convert to kg. Okay, so gram to kg is power of negative three. V we don't know. U equals to zero. So finally, if you press calculator, you will get the the speed of the ball is equals to 240 meter per second. Okay, you may pause the video if let's say you still want to practice. Okay, question number three. Paul and Nick push a field broken, broken down car down the road. After T equals to zero, they push with a force of 1000 Newton. They reduce their force gradually to 500 at the time of okay so initially when t equals to zero they are 1000 after t equals to five second you will come to 500 newton and continue push with constant force okay so meaning that constant force okay for another five minutes 
if the car is 1,500 kilogram, car start from the rest, u equals to zero, what is the final velocity at the end of 10 seconds? So this is force versus time. Okay, so we know the area under graph okay, is impulse and impulse equals to NV minus MU. Okay, so area under graph we can use, um, okay, we can split it into uh, a trapezium, okay, and also a square. Okay, so we go to part one first. Okay. So this one is a trapezium first. We take this part first. Okay, A. Okay, where A equation is um, okay, this is our B, this is A, and this is the height. Okay, so the substitute inside our A is 500, B is 1000, and the height is 5. Okay, so this is part A. Okay, next we go to part B. Okay, part B is this one. Okay, this is the uh, rectangle or square. Okay, so part B is a, a square. So A times B, yeah. Okay, is five times five hundred. Okay, so this is part B, and is equals to. NV minus MU. Okay, so our M is it's not given. Uh, we want to find the final velocity. Okay, so meaning that we can use um, we have we have M we have M okay one thousand. 500 is our N, V, we don't know, okay, and initially it starts from 0, okay, so you calculate, okay, this one is half, and 1500 times 5 plus this is 2500 equals to 1500 V. Okay, so you will get your V equals to 4.17 meter per second. Okay, this is question number 3. Okay, next one. Last question, we go to question number 4. Okay, so number 4, the graph below shows that they give you the M, 2 kg with the velocity 10 meter per second. It moves on a horizontal surface if the force is applied to this object between 1 to 7 seconds find the velocity of the object at 7 seconds so we know that if you want to find the impulse okay is area under graph okay so again we can split it into okay we can split it into two parts part number one is this is the trapezium a okay and this is part two is a triangle okay so we go to uh, find the area under graph for the first part a first okay so our impulse is equal to area under graph and it's also equal to nv minus mu okay so the first one impulse for area a okay so this is a B and this is our height H. So it's equal to half. A is 2 because 3 minus 1 plus 5 and the height is 6. Okay, so this is part A. Part B, half AB. Okay, so this is 2 and the height here is negative 2. Oh, sorry, this is this is 2. Okay, and just now B is negative 2. Okay, and it's equal to MV minus MU. Okay, so this is part 
the area and the graph for part B. Okay, so if you calculate half, and this is 7 times 6 plus half negative 4. Okay, equals to 2 kg. V, we don't know. U is 10 initial velocity. This is 10 initial velocity. So, you will get first calculator, you will get answer is 19.5 meter per second. Okay, so if you refer back to this graph, okay, this one you will get a positive, positive impulse. B, you will get the negative impulse because of the direction. Okay, if you refer here, this one is above the graph, so it's positive value. So this one you will get positive. And B, part B, you will get negative value. Okay, you see here, you got negative value because it is opposite direction. Okay, so at the end, you will get V equals to 19.5. And the answer given actually is wrong. Eh? Okay, so the answer given actually is 19.5 meter per second. Okay, so please do correction. So that's all for today. Thank you, class. <laughs>